Walmart and here are the Electrify America chargers in Northborough, Massachusetts. So here at the uh, Electrify America site in Northborough, Massachusetts, it's uh, near a Walmart, as you will. But uh, I thought this would be as good a time as any to do uh, a quick update video on Electrify America, where they've uh, come from, where they're at. Uh, we did one at, when they just passed 100 sites, uh, tested the app when they just passed 200. So it's been, they've actually been past 300 for uh, probably a month or so now. I think they're at 325 live stations at last count. Hopefully this one behind us will be 326 within a couple of days. Have about 135 sites coming soon. So that puts us up 460 sites slated to be online, hopefully by the end of the year, um, which is a huge jump really. I mean, when you consider at the end of, uh, well, probably a year ago, end of October, 2018, they were barely into double digits. Um, we had the first site go live here in Massachusetts at Chicopee, which was great, but you know, they were only a handful of sites and uh, still a lot of activations to go, a lot of uh, locations that hadn't been unveiled. Fast forward a year, October 2019, coming to a close, and we now have more than 300 sites live. With teething problems, you know, there have been, uh, the network went out for the uh, Huber and Suna um, cable connector issue. Um, there had been some uh, power restrictions, reductions in certain units, um, certainly across the New York Thruway, we noticed that on the way back over the summer with some of the units only delivering 20, 25 kilowatts um, when they should be capable of much closer to 50, 55 kilowatts for the Bolt EV. Um, but anyway, you know, we're here, we've got to the point where we now have hundreds of stations available across the country. Um, if I pull up the app map here, you know, it's, um, it's basically a cross-country network you can get from coast to coast with the slight exception in Utah and Nevada, a little bit of a gap in some of those places you wouldn't be able to take a direct route. But that's also the case, you know, it's, it's a, a difficult route to cross in general, even in a gas car having done it. But, you know, the point being that uh, Electrify America is the only one of these networks which is going for that nationwide highway location, uh, fast charging. Um, to get you across the country. So they've they've had a really rapid um, expansion here. It's it's looking good. We've certainly found it very helpful in going over to Ohio previously where the New York Thruway was completely un you know untouched really. Buffalo between Albany and Buffalo was 300 mile gap with nothing there. Um, now we have sites uh, in Waterloo, Herkima, Fredonia, Erie, Pennsylvania, a lot of places we can now go to stop and charge. Same with I-80 through to Pennsylvania, um, to Ohio. Um, so we've seen routes that we take open up thanks to Electrify America. Teething problems for sure, uh, software issues, payment processing issues, um, certainly problems for Hyundai Kona Electric and Kia Nero EV drivers. Uh, being shoved up into that second pricing tier, much more expensive at 58 cents per minute. Um, but that's, they're not seeing the benefit of that. So the car is capable of maybe 75, 76 kilowatt power rate for a few minutes tops if they see it at all. But they're being lumped in when the vehicle communicates with the charge station. They're saying, okay, it's a 76 kilowatt max. That puts you in price tier two and you don't see any of the benefit of that power. You don't see a faster charge. You don't see that sustained rate, even at 75, 76 kilowatts, you know, they're still tapering down much like the Bolt EV does. So it's, um, it's a problem to sort out, not necessarily one that Electrify America has acknowledged or Hyundai Kia. Um, I think it's one that probably needs to be addressed with maybe going to the average charge rate that you achieve through a session, or at the very least saying, look, this cars are saying it's so close to the 75 kilowatt cutoff that we should just say 
it's uh, you know in tier one but that's where we are for now it's gonna be this kind of thing we have to work out as new models come to market obviously you know you, you don't really want the power restrictions that we've had you don't want the, the kind of up and down functionality that some of the locations seem to have but when you're talking about a network that has grown from a handful of sites this time last year to now a nationwide um, charging network, non-Tesla charging network, that is the only one really to rival the supercharger network. Um, that's pretty impressive, so keep up the good work, Electrify America. Let's see if we can help out maybe um, the Hyundai Kona electric drivers and the Kia Nero EV drivers a little bit better, but uh, the activations and the map speaks for itself as far as I'm concerned. Nice guy.